Hi, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the full moon in Libra, March 2019. As always, I'm looking into my crystal to give you messages and predictions for the energies that you will experience from this full moon in Libra for each of the four elements, earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I hope these messages are going to be helpful to you as you travel through the energies of the next two weeks and up to 30 days. So first, as always, I'm going to start with the element of Earth. This will be for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I pick up a lot of uncertainty. You may have a lot of wishy-washiness, wishy-washy thinking, wishy-washy feeling, uh, not really sure what you want to do with the energy coming to you from this full moon in Libra. You may be kind of incensed, some of you earth signs, like you really want somebody to say something to you. Either you're like spoiling for a fight or there's somebody in particular in your life. You're like, spit it out already, say it. Because I get it's like you want them to say something. You want somebody to say something to you. Some of you earth signs may feel like there's legally not something just not right uh, or <clears throat> something seems off and you want something made right. Now, this could be at your work. It could be in your home. It could be with a love relationship. It could be with uh, friends and friends, uh, friends and groups you belong to. I don't know what area it's going to affect you personally, but it's like you're looking at something and you feel like something's off kilter and something's not right and it needs to be made right. Maybe it's with some bills or some policy you have. It could be something like that. I do feel that some of you earth signs are going to feel a little tense or like tentative, like almost like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop about something. I get this like tentative energy. I do feel that some of you earth signs are going to have the benefit of like feeling like you have a whole new outlook on something. It could be a new outlook on a love relationship. It could be a new outlook on your life. It could be even a new outlook on your career or some venture that you want to do. But I do get the benefit or blessing of some new outlook for some of you earth signs. <laughs> Some of you earth signs definitely feel like there has to be some kind of reckoning or accounting for something like they need to be accountable or there needs to be a reckoning. It could be a reconcile of um, a reconciliation of bank accounts, bank statements could be a love relationship. But this feels more like nuts and bolts or facts of something, something in writing, something, the mechanics of something uh, that there needs to be a reckoning. I, it could be for some of you, like I said, a relationship reckoning, but that's not really how it's coming to me in this um, through the crystal. It's not what my guides are bringing up. Boy, a lot of practicalities coming up here, and I know you astrologers may argue with that, but I get some of you earth signs seeing like a new way to put something together or, some, or the mechanics of something that needs like fine tuning. It could have to do with engines, technology, computers, uh, which is technology, but the actual interworkings of something, and you may learn how to put something together in, in a new way. Um, that's the, the vibe here. Be careful that you don't overreach or overstretch your imagination. Don't let your imagination get the better of you. Don't blow things up out of proportion. Uh, don't be careful of making overreaching statements or overreaching something. That's your caution here. So I hope those messages made sense or were of help to you. Now I'm going to look into the element of water. This will be Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. 
I feel that some of you water signs are going to feel like you want clarification of something. Clarifying things that so you can move forward with something. Maybe you're making a big purchase of a home or you're starting a new job or you're starting a new relationship. But I get clarification. You, you water signs are going to want clarification so something in your life or something you're working with or doing can move forward. Some of you water signs may feel a little jumpy, a little edgy, or you maybe have a tendency to jump to conclusions or have jumpiness. Maybe like, you know, sometimes my son, uh, my oldest son, who's a Pisces is funny. He walks into the room and I jump sky high. I am telling him, you have to make noise when you're coming into a room because he's like a fish swimming in and he, this scares me. So maybe you're gonna feel jumpy from this energy. I do feel that some of you water signs are going to feel very thankful and grateful because some kind of blessing or something that you've been waiting for or wanting to have happen is going to come through. Now, this could happen between this new moon, this full moon and the new moon in April or this full moon and the full moon in April. Some of you water signs are going to make a grandiose gesture. This could be like you know, hearts, flowers, candy, engagement ring, proposal, decorate, declarations of love, could be other kinds of grandiose gestures, like, you know, giving people a large, someone you care about a large sum of money, or, you know, giving like some major uh, job opportunity to somebody. But I, I really feel like it's a gesture, like it comes up like a grandiose gesture for some of you water signs. Mm. Some of you get some spectacular news about something you've been waiting for, like uh, a, a job opportunity to come through or a school you applied for or accepts you or a program you wanted to get in, you get in or uh, trying to get like a permit, a license, um, adopting a child, waiting to hear if, or waiting to hear re pregnancy results like See, like something you've been waiting to hear, it's going to come in. It's going to come through for you. Some of you, don't be surprised if you don't find a new partner in the next two weeks to 30 days. It could be love. I do feel it's love for many of you, but for or a romance or a, a you know, hookup of some kind of uh, romantic interlude with someone it's possible or it could be romance and love some of you it could be um, a partnership that's going to come in that you're going to do a gig with a sideline job uh, a, or a business partnership with this isn't going to sound spiritual but it is what I'm hearing some of you are going to see something happen that you've been wanting or waiting to see happen for somebody that you feel did you wrong. So you may witness someone get some karma. So some of you water signs in particular may be like, finally, that, you know, maybe somebody fired you and it was not deserved or an ex broke up with you or was mean to you and it was not deserved. And now you're going to hear that they get some kind of karmic comeuppance in some way. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Don't uh, think you've got the story all figured out at the time of this, the end of the next two weeks to 30 days. Because you might, there's some, you don't know the whole story yet. So that's something you water signs need to be cautious about. So now I'm going to look into the element of fire. This will be Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. I do feel actually some of you fire signs may experience some like monumental events this month. Some of you fire signs may win a prize, win an award, win some acknowledgement, win some kind of prize. I do get that for some of you fire signs. Some of you have an unveiling of secrets that come out. It could be something that you were like waiting for uh, or maybe not. Maybe you didn't even know these secrets existed, but I get like an unveiling of secrets. I feel like there are other people's secrets that you need to know or helpful for you to know. I don't feel like they're your secrets, but it could go either way here. 
some of you, I feel like the fire signs are really benefiting from this uh, full moon in Libra. Some of you are getting a promotion, a promotion or uh, a fa financial increase or something gets raised up for you in your life. But for some of you that are working, it, it feels like a promotion. If you hear weird noises in the background, my dog is snoring quite loudly in the other room. Um, I pick up that some of you are going to have like monumental changes, like either your, you know, you could change your uh, your diet drastically, or if you smoke or uh, have some kind of habit you don't like, you may drastically change it, change your diet, change your exercise, change a habit. Uh, change where you're living, change your career, like a drastic change comes up. But I feel it's a positive change. I don't feel like it's happening to you for a negative reason. Some of you that have really taken risks and thinking outside of the box prior to this full moon in Libra, it's like it's paying off. So if you took some gamble or risk or thought outside the box or took some kind of chance, it's going to pay off for you either in the next two weeks until the new moon in April or to the next 30 days to the full moon in April. If you've been on the fence about anything and you didn't like, you didn't want to commit to it. I feel that some of you fire signs are going to feel like you can make a commitment to this now, whatever it is. It could be a new job, a new career, a love relationship, an ideology, uh, a strategy, a plan. But it, it would be something you would have been on the fence about. You're going to be able to commit to it now. You're going to make a commitment to something. Be careful that you don't overwork yourself. I feel some of you fire signs may be really where you, you could be overworking yourself mentally and emotionally, or you could literally be overworking yourself physically with too much physical work or working too much. And believe me, I, I also pick up, I think it already came up, I'm not sure, but I do get for some of you fire signs, new romance is just around the corner. So if you're not happy with your current love relationship or you're single, there's some new love. It's coming in and I feel like, yeah, it could happen during the energy of this full moon, but it could happen really between now and the end of July. I do feel that's coming in for some of you fire signs. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now I'm moving on to the element of air. This will be Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I feel like some of you air signs are going to feel like there's much to do. I pick up all this like uh, almost hyper uh, energy. Like you got to get something going, get something moving. I got to move. I got to do this. I got to do that. All this like hyper energy. Some of you may feel like you're having a hard time communicating um, or you may be worried that your communication is going to be misunderstood by other people. So you may drop it. You may stop it. You may think like, oh, I'm going to say this or do that. And then you're like, you know what? No, because you're going to be smart enough to know Mercury's in retrograde from the 5th to the 28th, even though this is about the full moon in Libra. I see some of you thinking I, I, you want to say something. There's things you want to say, but you're going to stop yourself because you feel like it's going to be misunderstood or not come out right. Some of you are going to be real sticklers for following the protocols of things and wanting to follow things exactly to the letter. So if it's filing taxes or filling out forms or uh, following different kinds of programs or plans, you're going to be like very dogmatic and rigid about following everything to order. Some of you may be like, you know what? I got this huge burst of energy. I'm out of here. I'm taking a trip. I'm going on a vacation. Or you get this huge burst of energy and you're like, you know what? I'm clearing the deck of all this crap in my house and I'm getting it out of here. Like something, you're, you're having some big burst of energy and either you want to go, you want to take day trips or you want to take a long trip or you're going to have like spring cleaning and, and uh, getting rid of stuff. Energy is going to hit you and you're going to want to like attack, get to it. 
some of you air signs are going to be like, yeah, I'm, sh I'm strutting my stuff. I'm showing you what I'm all about. And if you don't like it, too bad. Some of you may get that, like, you may be feeling pretty good about yourself. You may be feeling like you look good or you feel good or you, and, and having this kind of uh, joie de vivre, is that what they say? Like, and like happy and joy, but you're also not going to care what other people think. So some of your rebelliousness is going to kick up, but it's like a confident, a rebelliousness in your confidence. Some of you are figuring out some next step of a plan and you may actually start planting seeds and putting down roots into something. Some of you may think of moving. You may start researching other places to move or a business to get involved in or something else that you want to add to your own business or something you want to do that, but it has to do with like putting down roots into something. Some of you are going to be finalizing plans and details. You could be signing contracts or like, you know, giving the final count to a party that's coming up or giving the final word on something like in a court case or in documentation or uh, if you're a boss, you may have to say, this is the final word on something. Or if you're a parent, you're laying down the law and you're giving like, you're bringing something to finality. The thing the air signs need to be cautious of, of what my guides are telling me is, you're going to feel, I feel, to, you're gonna wanna take a detour. And they're saying, don't take that detour. And this could be in driving. It could be in a trip you're taking. It could also be a detour or deviating from the original plan you had set forth a couple months ago. Don't take the detour. I would wait until you're around March 15th, 16th, 17th, because you're going to see things differently. <laughs> So don't take those detours, air signs, because I feel like it's going to backfire or, going, or you're going to wish that you hadn't done it. So keep that in mind. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching and liking my videos and subscribing. And I want to add here, if you do subscribe, and I hope you do if you like my videos, that you hit the notification bell because that way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. I've, I've been told apparently subscribing doesn't necessarily just uh, achieve that. So make sure you hit that notification bell. I do appreciate your subscribing and watching. I do appreciate it. I want to thank you so much. And I want to say if you're interested in getting a psychic crystal reading from me and the messages from my spirit guides, for your specific sign for the month of March 2019, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for March 2019 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com, click on the videos tab on my menu, and there you will see the heading for March 2019 Psychic Crystal Readings. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, if you're interested in seeing and hearing what's lucky and new for you in 2019, you can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the other link below this video. And they're also available on my website videos page. Just look for the heading of what's lucky and new for you in 2019 psychic tarot reading. Click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. In those videos, I pulled six cards, which is double what I usually do for the lucky and new for you in, in the year reading. Um, I used pulled three cards from the Hanson Roberts tarot deck for each sign of the zodiac. And I pulled three cards to expand on those cards using the Morgan Greer tarot deck. So the videos are around 20 to 25 minutes long. And 
there are six cards that are going to tell you what my spirit guides gave me in messages and predictions for you about what is going to be lucky and or new for you in 2019. So I hope you have absolutely fantastic energy that comes to you from this full moon in Libra in March 2019 and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.